Assembly member from Simcoe Gray. Thank you. Uh, my question is uh, for the Premier. Mr. Speaker, on March 22nd, my office filed a Freedom of Information request with the Higher Education Quality Council of Ontario. It's now been more than six months, and we've still not received the requested documents. On August 12th, the Higher Education Quality Council sent us a letter indicating the records were assembled. On August 18th, we sent them a check, and on August 26th, they cashed the check, and on September 9th, after we still didn't receive the documents, we wrote another letter asking where they are, and there's been no response. Mr. Speaker, why is the Premier withholding these documents, and what are they hiding at the Higher Education Quality Council? Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as the honourable member is aware, there is, and as he's outlined, there's a process by which uh, members can uh, request information under access to information, and I'll certainly follow up on the concerns that he brought here today. Mr. Speaker, though, this gives me an opportunity to speak a bit about the Higher Education Quality Council, which was an organization that was brought forward as part of the Reaching Higher Plan to advise government on moving forward in the area of higher education. I've been very very impressed with the research projects they've undertaken and the advice that they've uh, provided the government as we continue to strengthen our post-secondary education system, Mr. Speaker. We have now 140,000 more students in our provinces, colleges and universities since we took office, and I think it's incumbent upon all of us to get the best advice and research on how we can make sure that the system continues to grow and is enhanced. Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the minister would know full well that we've requested these documents. There's something fishy. It doesn't pass the smell test over there. The last time I got Freedom of Information documents from the uh, Education Quality Council, we found out that the chair had bought a $500 watch from Burks, and only after I raised it in the legislature did he write a check to reimburse that. We also found out they were spending thousands and thousands of dollars on hospitality. So if you won't come clean, if you won't tell us uh, what's in the documents or release the documents, we can only assume that the Higher Education Quality Council has joined the likes of eHealth, Cancer Care Ontario, Ontario Lottery and Gaming and the WSIB in squandering hard-earned tax, tax dollars. Minister, why haven't you ordered the Council to release the Freedom of Information documents? Minister. Mr. Speaker, I indicated that I will look into the matter for the minister. I would also indicate, Mr. Speaker, in reference to his uh, comments at the beginning that the Higher Education and Quality Council, as well as all agencies of that type, have adopted the new, uh, the new rules that were brought forward for uh, uh, expenses that were brought forward earlier this year by the government. And again, Mr. Speaker, I reiterate the important work that's been going on with the Higher Education Quality Council. Let me share, Mr. Speaker, with the honourable member some of the research projects that are under going right now with ECHO. Aboriginal self-identification and student data in Ontario's post-secondary education system, challenges and opportunities, determinants of university retention, discovering the benefits of a first-year experience and program for underrepresented students. And I could go on, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm proud. Thank you. New question.